Today I want to introduce you to my new vlogging setup. So I did another vlogging setup video pretty recently, and that's a really legit setup that we've been using to film vlogs on our travel channel Gemini Discover for the past few years. In this new setup, there is some crossover from the old one, but there's also some big improvements, including a quick release system that makes it so seamless to transition from one camera mount to another. So to start, let me introduce our vlogging camera of choice, which is always going to be the latest and greatest GoPro. Right now, that's the GoPro Hero 10. And we love action cameras for vlogging for a variety of reasons. But basically, they're small and inconspicuous, and they have excellent built-in stabilization, and they're practically indestructible. But one of the downsides to action cameras is the sound quality. So we always use external microphones. Now to do that with a GoPro, you have to use either the GoPro mic adapter or the media mod to add that 3.5 millimeter microphone jack. So in this case, we have the media mod and we've connected our microphone of choice, which used to be the Rode Wireless Go 2. We still love that microphone. However, we've recently replaced it with the DJI microphone. I have a more in-depth video on why we prefer DJI over Rode, but in a nutshell, the sound quality is pretty on par, and the DJI mic is a lot smaller, and it comes with a charging case, so it's a lot easier for travel. In general, we also prefer wireless microphones as opposed to shotgun microphones because they provide more targeted sound quality with less background noise, and they draw a lot less attention from other people when you're out there vlogging. If you want some other tips on how to vlog in public without fear, then check out this video below. The next part of our GoPro vlogging setup is the camera grip, which is needed to get the most natural and creative camera angles, as well as provide a little bit more stabilization to your camera. Our old vlogging grip was this Insta360 selfie stick in 70 centimeters, which I still really love because it's super lightweight, but also very sturdy. But best of all, if you pull on one end, this selfie stick becomes really long and extends and locks into place automatically. And then to retract it, you just push in on that end. And so it's so simple. I like this design a lot more than GoPro's other official mounts, such as the GoPro Shorty, which is this mini tripod. It also extends, but not nearly as much as the Insta360 stick, and also better than the GoPro 3-way, which is the other grip here that, you know, we tried this grip out. I really want to like this, but it just takes a lot longer to extend because you have to unlock each little angle here and then pull it out like this. And so it still takes a little bit more time to make this grip a little bit longer. So Insta360, I think, is still better at making grips, but the one thing that I think is really missing on this Insta360 selfie stick is a tripod. It's really just a uh, handle, which is nice to have. And there actually is a quarter inch tripod thread on the bottom. If you have a mini tripod, you can take that mini tripod and screw it into the bottom of the grip. And now you have a little tripod to plant your grip but then you'd have to carry this mini tripod around, and so it's just not that practical. And so I'm finding the more that I'm vlogging lately, I'm preferring to be able to plant my camera down to get certain angles. And so that's why I've been shying away from this little Insta360 grip and trying out a couple of other grips. So the first contender is the Insta360 selfie stick with a built-in tripod. It's very similar to our old selfie stick. They're both very solid and not terribly expensive, but as you can see, it's a lot taller and thicker and heavier, so it's not as convenient for travel, and it definitely draws a lot more attention whenever I'm using this out in the field. But I like having this little tripod that's built into the grip. Now the other mount that I've been trying out is the Ulanzi MT-47, which is an aluminum alloy mini tripod with an extendable center column. It's not as long as the Insta360 stick, and it's double the price, but it's all metal, and it also comes with a ball head to easily position your camera in different angles. And it has a built-in cold shoe mount for attaching an additional accessory. But best of all, this little tripod can support up to two kilograms or 4.4 pounds of weight. So I can actually use my GoPro, but also my full-frame mirrorless camera, the Sony a7 IV, on this tripod. 
But in an ideal world, I'd like to see this original Insta360 selfie stick maintain its slim form factor and have a built-in tripod. And now for the moment that you've probably been waiting for, here is my new quick release mounting system. This was super important to me because I often swap out my GoPro with different mounts, depending on what I'm trying to film. Now, typically I'll go between the main vlogging mount, which you know currently is the Sulanzi MT47, to an ultra tall selfie stick, the Insta360 selfie stick, and also to a chest mount of some sort whenever I wanna film a POV hands-free perspective. I have an older video showing a DIY version of this setup, but this newer solution is a lot better. It's called the Ulanzi Claw, and it consists of two pieces. There is a detachable plate here, which has a quarter inch tripod thread to attach to your camera of choice. Or in the case of a GoPro, it's gonna be a GoPro adapter to a one quarter inch. This attaches to a base that can easily attach whenever you squeeze these two buttons here. Now this plate is really secure as it is, but there's also a red little lock here which you can slide into place to further secure it. And then on the base, there is a quarter inch tripod hole in the bottom, so you can easily attach this to pretty much all of your camera mounts. So in this setup here, I have the Ulanzi claw base on my Ulanzi metal tripod, as well as on the extra long Insta360 selfie stick. And so if I want to put my GoPro on the little tripod, I just pinch and place it here. Now I have the GoPro on the little tripod. I can even extend it a little bit to get my shots. And then if I wanna put it on the longer uh, Insta360 selfie stick, I can easily do that within seconds. And because these Ulanzi claws have you know, more bases or tripod plates, you can actually put those tripod plates on other mounts. So here I have one on a phone mount. So now I can even put my phone in here and do the same thing. I can interchange my phone from all the mounts. But the main reason why I like the Ulanzi claw over all other quick release systems is that there's a convenient shoulder strap that you can attach to your backpack. And so now I can change my GoPro between my handheld mounts but I can also attach it to my backpack to get that hands-free POV perspective. Now admittedly, this backpack clip resembles another one made by a pretty big company, Pick Design, but it is also very well made and very affordable. The main downside to it though is that you have to pinch it with two fingers to place and remove the camera and I haven't found a way to do this very swiftly. It takes a little bit of practice, but I love the overall convenience of it. Compared to my old DIY solution, I can't use this backpack mount to attach my GoPro with a tripod that's already attached to it. So that would still be my ideal setup. But this is a quick release system that is fast, convenient, and affordable enough that I'm willing to compromise. For what it's worth, GoPro does have their own quick release system, the GoPro Buckle. But my only issue, actually I have a couple of issues. The main issue is that this system isn't used on all of their official mounts. There are some mounts that use the buckle, such as the GoPro 3-way, the jaws, the backpack clip, but there are other mounts, such as the GoPro shorty and the hand mount, that don't use the buckle. Plus, if you buy into the GoPro buckle, then you also have to buy into the rest of GoPro's really expensive mount options. So I prefer the Ulanzi claw because it maintains that quarter inch tripod hole so I can easily use this claw quick release system on the rest of my grips and tripods that I already own. But there you have it. This is my latest 2022 GoPro vlogging setup. It is a setup that is constantly changing and in flux. So if you have any suggestions about how to make this setup better, then leave a comment down below because I'll most likely be doing another updated video sometime in the future. But thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.